It's a cool overcast day here in Georgia today, so it's a perfect opportunity to get all of our beds ready for our warm season plants. So that means we have weeds to pull, compost to add, and a lot of preparation to do. So none of the seeds from the peas that were left out in the rain look like they've germinated yet. So they probably aren't going to. They probably were damaged beyond repair. Wait, is that a pea? Is that one? Uh-oh, we got a couple that might make it. Okay, I'm gonna give them more time before I give up then. You'll have to excuse my scratchy voice. The allergies here in Georgia, the pollen count is just astronomical. So it's just got me a little scratchy. The broccolini's doing okay. The lettuce is doing good. Looking like it's grown a little. But this kale and these collards, whoa. And the bok choy too, like, wow. And you can see all of the onions that I planted in between that you didn't see last time all come up. So I think we're gonna do a, a good harvest of these greens to go with our dinner tonight. And then these sad leftovers dried out one day this week and almost all the way died. You can see how much death occurred, but there is some life coming back. So we're gonna hurry up and get these in the ground so that they can have a chance at life. So that means we need to clean weeds out of these beds for tomatoes. We're gonna have tomatoes in all of these beds. So the weeds all have to go and compost added. This bed, I have to pull weeds. We leave the dandelions, but Pull the other weeds and plant the Swiss chard in here. This bed all has to be pulled. This bed has to be pulled except for the carrots. And then there's a few weeds in between the garlic and of course the kale that's going to seed. It's beautiful flowers. I really kind of want to leave it and let it go and do its thing, but we can plant in between these garlic plants so that we are utilizing our space as best as possible. I asked the boys if they'd come help me garden. I got them outside at least. Well, that's an A+. Plus. <laughs> Whoa, Rowan, that scared me. <laughs> Whoa! I think I let my sugar cane dry out too much before I put it into soil. I don't see any signs of life. It's just getting drier. Some of my sweet potatoes are sprouting and some aren't. Hmm. Come on guys, sprout. Sprout, sprout, sprout. And then in this tray I've got turmeric and ginger I'm trying to get it sprouted. Oh, so pretty. Carrot blooms are really pretty. I'm letting these go to seed so I can harvest the seed. They're one of the black nebula carrot seeds. And my cilantro started to bolt. So I'm letting it go to seed so I can have coriander. The Egyptian walking onions are starting to bloom. Look at that. I love these plants. Just look. These cute little curly cues are gonna be new baby bees as they walk across the ground. All right, I guess I better get busy actually pulling weeds and filling beds with compost and all of the things that I need to do to get this garden planted. <laughs> I could just walk around all day showing y'all everything. Wait, one more thing. I have to show you this before I pull this bed because I, I might damage it a little bit as I pull the bed. This is something I've been looking for and excited about. Do you see all those seedlings? I started to wonder if somehow I wasn't going to have three million ground cherry plants this year. But it looks like I will. <laughs> So, I obviously don't need as many seedlings as these plants drop, but I love leaving some to grow in the middle of any other garden bed as they want to and as they have space for. I will just plant around them. So, 
I want to plant a plant here. I'm just going to dig out a handful to remove them and plant my plant. All right, what do you got planting there, Liam? Um, kale. Kale. We're going in between the garlic. Are the kale? That's dinosaur kale, otherwise known as lacinato kale. Are the dinosaur kale? Yeah, you can plant it too. And Rowan planting too. Good boys. You're such nice helpers. Do you got I do, thank you. Pretty flowers from Mama. And there was uh, another section that was the newer strawberries that was absolutely loaded with strawberries. And they were big and they were white, so they're gonna be ripe like tomorrow. But they're a different shape. They're like longer and pointier. So I can tell they're a different variety. Wow, Ryan, you did a good job on these three beds. You've already added compost to these two? Good deal. Can you tell me or share that story that you just told me? No. <laughs> no? no. Come on, I like that. It, Ryan was just telling me an interesting story about the word herb. I don't want to be completely inaccurate. So I ran out of space in the upper beds to fill in with these collard plants. So I'm doing a real simple method. Poke a hole with a stick. Push the baby in. Boom, I'm done. I'm not gonna cover it, I'm not gonna do anything. Those roots are just gonna jump into that soil and grow just fine all on their own. Cover you up a little bit because you had kind of an incline. Got a few plants left in each of these trays. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here under the trellis. Ryan rescued these violas out of the dumpster at the feed store. At the end of the season, they were just dumping them. And we're gonna plant them in the corners of every bed. And they'll be pretty and attract pollinators and just be happy little rays of sunshine in our garden. And a lot of times these self seed very easily. You can see this seed head right here. See how many seeds it produces? No germination on my tomatoes yet. But my pollinators, oh my goodness, no peppers yet. And I did a little silly mistake here. I don't know if you can tell. I put my sunflower seeds on top of my basil seeds. There's an empty row. Oopsie. Yeah, see. Little baby basils coming up under the sunflowers. I might just pinch off the sunflowers and eat them as a salad and add some more to this row. But I brought them out into the sunlight because these guys were stretching a little bit. So I figured every day I'll take them out in the sunlight if it's nice out. And uh, that way I won't have to transition as much because transition can sometimes make plants look ugly. <laughs> There's a little bit of ugly looks here from transitioning. I'll pinch those leaves off as I plant, but my goodness, we got a few sunburn spots, but they are ready to come out of this tray and be planted. I thought I was doing it today, but Tuesday night's going to get down to the low, low 40, and tomatoes just don't like that, so they'll be fine inside the she shed for another week, and next week we'll get them all in the ground. Aw, that's cute. It'll be even cuter in the summer when everything's growing over it if they survive that long. So we got a lot done, but we didn't quite get all of it done and it's already time to do chores. So we're going to call it a day in the garden. And it really has been another beautiful day on the homestead.